first thing we're going to address is um, the mayor position. Um, we all know that the mayor was arrested. Um, at this point, um, we cannot do anything about that as far as uh, filling that position or doing anything about that position. Uh, he is still mayor unless he's convicted. So we live in a country where you're presumed innocent until found guilty. So uh, that's really all we can address on that particular situation at this time. Okay, personnel hire. Um, we're in dire need of some help. Yes. Uh, Mike is doing essentially three jobs, and the uh, front office is really, really busy, and uh, we need to look at what we can do about getting some more help in there. Can we not go through like a temporary service and sometimes hire people like that on a temporary basis? Lots of companies do it, don't they? Right now, I'll well, I don't think we need to go through a, a hmm? service. Uh, if you're going to do it, do it without paying the service and do it through us or you. And it's hard and hard to somebody to say for 30 days old, by the time they get to you say, well, we don't need you. Don't most people play temporary hard. They hard people come in for 30 days, 60 days, and give them time longer. Well, I, I've reached out to City Manager Association. I also made some phone calls on, on the back side about looking for temporary. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with Tammy, we still don't know what the status of her right. is. Uh, so I, I would I would be hesitant to you know flat out say that we need to look at, at a permanent hire. However, um, we do know that Tammy, uh, if and when she returns, if she is looking at retirement uh, probably at this point within the next two years. Um, we need to train somebody. We, we need to be looking at her replacement as well. Uh, right now, the most imminent uh, need is we need somebody in. Um, to, I'm keeping things functioning, uh, but as far as being able to perform everything, uh, I'm keeping things functioning. Um, we've got budget coming up. Uh, I need to dive into the budget. Right now, um, the entirety of my time is being consumed with with performing Tammy's function. Well, I want to thank you and also uh, Carolyn yeah. and, yes. um, yes. and I'll start to say Sherry Bonnie. But Bonnie, Bonnie. Because every time I come in here, they are not idling their time. They're, they have really stepped up and it's all they can do is keep going what they're going and doing. And it's tax time right now, and they're worked to death collecting taxes too. It, it's tax and so time. The, but it just it needs to be. And let me ask you something. Since we'll talk about this, when Marion retired last year, a year ago, did the walk? Did we not talk about that when she retired that you would get a raise? I don't know that this board did, uh, the previous board did. Um, the, the, what, what was said was there would be an increase in compensation. Uh, have you got it? I have not. Okay. We make $26 an hour, don't you? Ain't that pretty good money? Not for the education he's got, not what he does. The education ain't got nothing to do with it. It was hard in for manager slash recorder. That's what the pay was stated at. I was sitting right back here when it happened. It's not time for raises. I hate, I hate to say this, but I'm just telling you the way it is. I mean, we're spending money. You're going to run out. They won't be a dike on job. Let's keep going. I hate to say that. That's just the way it is. Somewhere she got to draw a line. We still need some help in there to make sure that the city is functioning and make sure the city... Uh, we want to be sure that everything is taken care of. And the way it is right now, uh, with Tammy out, it's very difficult, extremely difficult. So what did you hire Carolyn for? What is her job capacity? 
She's part time, but her well, job. Wait a minute! I don't care if she's part time, or full time. What is her job? Capacity? She's not a. She's not, not financial person. person. She's not a city financial you person. You can utilize her anytime, any way you want to. You can't keep putting people you can't. in there. Uh, I, I can't utilize her in any way that I want to because the job that I'm doing uh, in regards of finance officer requires a certain skill set. Mm -hmm. I won't disagree with that, but you can't keep cramming people in their offices and paying them out. Where are you going to get the money from? The um, I, I will state this as bluntly and clearly as I can. I'm performing three jobs. We do not have the capacity in this office at this point to do everything that needs to be done. It is a matter of time before something major gets overlooked. That could be. But again, I was sitting right that, there. That, that will be. Well, that, that will be. That, that is not a possibility. That, might that be is a definite. But I was sitting right back there. When the Christians, they wanted to fire you that night. Remember that? I don't remember very well. Now it was upstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was sort of it was sort of funny, really. Because I was near where you were sitting. But anyway, I understand that. But anyway, if you're going to hire these people, you would think you'd hire somebody who's got the qualification. Now, I'm not going to say Carolyn don't have them, but going back to you is what I'm going at. You knew what your money was going to be when you hired in here. You knew exactly what you was going to get paid. And I think $26 an hour, is that what you're making right now? That, that's what I'm making. Now, well, that's let, pretty daggone good money. Let, 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 let's back up for one second. Okay. Uh, since we're talking about history. Uh, and I don't want to get into it. But I do want to set the record straight on something. Go ahead. When I was hired, I was hired at a pay rate for city manager, not city manager, slash city court, a pay rate for city manager, and that was $26 an hour. Now, it was established that in a year's time, when Marilyn, Marion retired, that I would receive an increase in compensation. Those are the terms in which I accepted this job. I've never seen those anywhere since. The, those, those are the terms. Do you have a copy of them? You, you sure. can go back and review the meetings. Um, now, I have not asked for an increase in compensation. He has not. He has not asked. He likewise, told it. He's talking. Well, likewise, the, the mayor has the mayor has control of the meeting, or vice mayor. Um, right. I have not asked for any increase in compensation, and I voluntarily wrote that increase out of the budget last year for the purpose of the well-being of the city. So, I'm not here with my hand out. And I'm not here making demands of the city. I'm doing everything I can to keep this city operating. And I will tell you that I am flat out at my capacity to do so. Now, if you do not want to provide me the resources to bring someone else in, that's fine. But I'm sitting here telling you that there will be a problem on the horizon. I can only advise this board on what the needs of the city is. I, I will address the needs as with as is within my capacity to do so. But when it when it exceeds my capacity, then I have to turn to the board and, and tell the board what we have coming down the road in as far as consequences and what we need to avoid those consequences. That is the profession of the city manager. Well, I'm going to quit pulling on How much do you think your pay should be? I'm not talking about my pay. Uh, really? the, the, my pay at the present time is the least of my concerns. At the present time, my concerns is the well-being of the city. But we need to hire somebody to help this, these girls out here, or else we're going to lose those girls. Because they've done told me that they couldn't take any more on them. And I'll tell you how you can get a, I'll tell you how you get $12,200 a, 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 a year. 
is like I brought up the last time, I'd like to put this on the agenda for next uh, week, that we have to do it before the next election. The mayor next time needs to only get $100 a meeting and not the $200 a meeting that has been put forth in the last couple or two or three years. No, about four or five years now. So I, I want to bring that up next meeting to vote to do away with the $200 to pay the mayor and pay him $100 back again because it is not, we, we, have, we do not have a strong mayor uh, government and that would save $1,200 right there. And Jim, you just told me a while ago that you was getting the paper up, the, not going up there and getting the free paper when you uh, when the, I told you that the town had to pay if you up to Rogers for you, You're right. that they have to pay it. Well, you get it right free if you go right up here to this library of ours and get them free. I'm going to send them a subscription for it. I get it in the King's Port and Weber City or Gate well, City too. pay for it. I do. Or no. I will. The town has to pay for the Rogers for review. So how many years have they paid for these people to get a paper? I don't care if you cut mine off right now. I, I ain't broke. I can pay my own. Can you? Because that right up there, who pays for the one at the library? They give it to us. They give it to them free. Wait a minute. Somebody has to pay for it. No, they they actually give it to the library free. Well, then that's where maybe everybody in, on the administration should go. Cut it all out. That's what I do. I go up there and get one. I don't, no, I don't I, get one to my house. I don't get one at my house. These people because the town's not going to pay for mine. Still getting that paper. Okay, on this personnel, are we looking at a CMFO qualified? Or are you just looking at a... Presently, no. Um, because the way I see that, you're going to have to have somebody to handle the money or the checks one because you can't do both. Right. Thank you. Right. Um, if we replace you're, you're, Tammy, we need to look at that certification. So whoever's coming on board, they like and tend to stay. They're going to need some training. Tammy had to go to learn what she's done. She's doing. The the state take state certification. The, the state provides certification for CMFO. Um, the, the state requires that every city have a CMFO. Um, presently, Tammy is our CMFO. Um, and CFO. C you're saying C CFMO, I think. Yeah. Really? Certified municipal finance office. I've been spelling there all this whole time. <laughs> 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 um, you're too old to learn. I learn something every day. True. <laughs> right now, um, we, we need someone with the skill set to form the job. Um, I have CMFO training. I, I'm not certified, um, but I know enough to keep us going. Um, I am not a good finance officer. Um, but you can't, like I say, legally you can't do both. Right. Um, that, that would result in an audit finding. Um, right. and, and I don't have the professional capacity. Um, and, and frankly, you guys don't want me as a finance officer. Um, that, that is not one of my strengths. Uh, I have enough education, I know enough to keep us limping along. Uh, but you know, presently we need we need somebody in here to you know keep us rolling, um, to do the things, take some of the workload off. Um, but long term, if Tammy was not to return, then yes, we we would need to look at that. Now the state, the state allows for two years for someone that's hired uh, that occupies that position to gain their CMFO accreditation. Uh, it's a series of twelve classes taken through in the past. It takes a year to take it, once a month. Uh, and I've, I've actually gone through the course. Um, because I left my previous position, I never went back and finished it uh, because I was coming here where there was a CMFO already. When we advertise this job, does that need to be included in it? That 
if it does become a full-time position, if that would be a requirement that would have to be gotten two years? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Um, I, I would say that our most immediate need uh, would be would be to find someone with a uh, familiarity with uh, local government, FlexGen, and NextGen uh, accounting software. Uh, because various, various governments use uh, various softwares, anything from QuickBooks to, uh, I want to say Peachtree, um, but the, the software that we use is a local government branded software. And we, we really were fortunate when Carolyn came along that she had worked for the, uh, the city of Tampa. And so she has really come forth with what a lot we've needed in there at trying to, to cover. Well, and, and uh, I, I want to back up and speak to something that you all mentioned a, a few minutes ago. I cannot praise... Um, Carolyn or Bonnie um, enough. Uh, had it not been for them, Tammy's absence, this would have fallen apart. Um, they have they stepped have up done, tremendously. They have done a fantastic job. And they give you the praise too for working the hours that you've done. They uh, and they they did a fantastic job before mm -hmm. uh, Tammy got sick. And, they, they have never failed to, to come through. And, and they'll be in the middle of something I've noticed. Uh, and when you're working with numbers, I hate to think I had to work with numbers now, but anyway, when they're working with numbers, they've got to stop what they're doing and take care of them. Then when you go back, you got to think, now where was I on this paper? Mm -hmm. on these numbers. So it's almost like you're starting all over again. And both girls have done it. And so that set them back then uh, even more when they start something and they, they get interrupted. And so we need to really, we need to praise them. And I want to reiterate, Mike has done a tremendous job in yes. taking up the slack. Yes. He's put in a lot of hours and uh, a lot of time here. So if, uh, if it's the will of the board, um, uh, I'd like to place something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a resolution, but uh, for next week, uh, discussion and consideration of temporary personnel hire or uh, personnel hire We may know uh, an update on Tammy by that time, we may not. Um, so this is something that we've got to kind of move with, with some agility and, and be flexible. Uh, and you know, as information comes in, decide whether we're uh, looking for a long-term replacement or if we're looking for someone uh, just to keep the ball rolling. Any other comments on that? Yeah, me. So what happens if you hire one and Tammy comes back? What do you do for the other people? Well, some of us will have to go. So what do you do? That's why we're discussing a temporary hire. It's not a permanent hire. It's a temporary hire. when they come on. Lord, they just be I hope. Well, they should if you... Well, if, if, if we decide to go for temporary hiring, we will probably be looking at retired finance officers. Uh, there, there are people within the state and with, within my network of, of city management that have this skill set that steps in because this, this is not an isolated incident. Uh, this happens. Cities lose their finance officers. Um, we're fortunate that we still have time to to reach out to. Um, but oftentimes, cities don't have that luxury. Right. So there, there is that network of people out there that step in, you know, with their cake and uh, 
help out the cities. And when Tammy does come back, um, she's not thought about maybe a year, a little over a year before uh, she retires. Uh, and so you're going to have to really start training somebody and letting her train somebody to uh, do the way that Mount Carmel office here does the job. Yeah. Uh, and ultimately, we're, we're probably looking at two positions. We're, we're looking at someone uh, on a temporary basis to come in as quickly as possible. Uh, one, so that I can focus on our other things, including getting you guys a budget, because it's that time. Right. Um, it's coming up. And, and then the other part is you know, getting someone in on a permanent basis to work with Tammy for you know, nine months to a year. And expectation of her or anticipation of her retirement. Um, that old girl's tougher than nails. She ain't going to work. She is too. She's so much better. She is tired. Uh, yes. Maybe someday, but I don't think it's near the future. Um, the two. Well, you know, when you have a seasoned employee like Tammy that is telling you you're they're retiring in two years. You need to take them up a word on that um, mm -hmm. because we don't want to be caught in the same situation that we are right now. Um, and if she says it's two years, then we need to anticipate and plan for having someone to step into her role at the end of that two years. And she's told me that since she's been sick when I went to the hospital. She told me that. She was going to retire when her time was up, and she's counting days down. I'll do Mr. Frost about back there to work. He's got plenty of experience. <laughs>